None of it is good for Trump and his administration, not least because the Cohen Trump story sucks all the oxygen out of the room, making it hard for stories that are far better for the White House to poke through. We've accomplished an economic turnaround of historic proportions, Trump crowed Friday morning, and it wasn't just Trump singing Trump's praises. Former Florida Governor Jeb Bush, whom no one would mistake for a Trump supporter, tweeted his own praise of the president. Today's news confirms that 4% growth isn't just aspirational, it's achievable through policies that unleash the power of the market, wrote Jeb. Credit to it P.O.T. U.S.'s economic policies. To sustain this growth, we must pursue a free trade agenda and move to a merit-based immigration system. Recent polling suggests people are not only noticing the improved economic indicators but are giving Trump credit for it, too. Fully 50% of people in a new Wall Street Journal, NBC poll said they approved of the job Trump was doing with the economy, while only 34% disapproved. That's a long way from Trump's far more mediocre ratings on his handling of border security and immigration, 41% approved, 51% disapproved, or the relationship between Russia and the United States, 26% approved, 51% disapproved. Congressional Republicans could barely contain their excitement with the new numbers, and Trump's on-message address touting them. The problem, of course, is that the positive economic numbers were quickly moved to the back burner as the he said, he said battle between Cohen and Trump played out. which is a common problem for Trump, self-inflicted wounds not only cut deep but make it harder for him to focus on narratives that are far better for him and his party. Below, the week that was in 26 headlines. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Read Friday's fall edition of The Point newsletter, and sign up to get future editions delivered to your inbox.